Alright, so what we have here is uh, my 40 breeder, um, <clears throat> excuse me, with uh, five purple spotted, purple spotted gudgeons or the northern purple spotted gudgeon, Magrunda Magrunda gudgeon. Um, and uh, more specifically, what we have right here, this male who is in breeding dress um, is a father. So in there, he is guarding a couple hundred eggs inside of that coconut. Um, now real quick, I want to go over the fish. Um, I'm not experienced with raising or rearing these fry. That is what I'm about to attempt to do. I know I, I didn't expect them to do this yet, but they did. So uh, I do want to cover a few things because I found online it didn't say that they were easy to sex. That's not true. They're very easy to sex. Um, now they're just sexing out. They sexed out maybe a month or two ago. And I bought them at, you know, an, an inch and a half. Now they're pushing, they're, they're coming up on three inches. But to sex them, and this is my second male, I have three females, two males. You simply, the best way that I know is you look at the forehead, the, the, the males will form a nuchal hump on the forehead. It will look uh, much more round, whereas the females will have kind of a slope where the male's forehead will truly just be around. Um, and uh, that's why I say I've got one other male right here and he's slowly starting to develop his nuchal hump. Now we look at this one here and uh, if he turns, you can see how his forehead is very, very round. He's, he's darting around so it's not gonna be the best, uh, obviously, but um, I'm gonna get some better shots here in a second. I'm going to move him and his coconut because I want to move him because he's going to fan those eggs for me. Um, <laughs> uh, maybe we can get a good shot of his head. Do you see how it's a lot rounder than, let's say, um, hers? You see, it's very sloped where um, his and well, uh, you're gonna run away too. Where his is uh, much more rounded. So we're gonna go ahead and move him to his uh, new tank. Now I just, this has been cycling for a while and I wanted it to be very old. Um, it, this should be full of microorganisms. Uh, this has been aging for a while with about three mystery snails in it and it's just been in here for about two months with nothing in it, just cycling. Um, so I did a 50% water change and uh, I had a bunch of these Amazon swords in here. I moved them out and um, this pearl weed, floating pearl weed, was already in here. I added all of that moss. Now this is all peacock moss, um, and I will be selling this peacock moss eventually. I'm working. I'm still working on my site. So the site, actually, I do have it. It's I just have to finish it. But um, so yeah, what I'm going to do with this now is use it to breed and hopefully save my fry because. These are very hungry, aggressive species who will predate readily from what I've read on their fry. And I'm going to assume that that's fairly true. Um, now I, I pulled that, um, that uh, peacock moss out of this tank um, prior to, you know, putting these uh, gold, excuse me, before putting these goldfish in, uh, which I brought in from outside. So um, what I had in there was nothing but snails. That's where I was breeding my magenta mystery snails. And uh, mystery snails, that slime coat is a great infusoria for fry. Um, so I'm thinking it's going to be very dense in microorganisms. It's, you know, it's moss. I'll also be feeding them microworms and um, vinegar eels as well. And I'm going to hope that that is good enough. These guys are, you know, these gudgeons specifically, your uh, Australian freshwater gudgeons are very notorious for having very small fry and it being very difficult for a hobbyist to be able to feed those fry. So um, anyways, I'm going to uh, go ahead, I'm going to flip this coconut, move. Hopefully he didn't get too mad. There's a good shot at him. You can see how that head is rounder. But I'm going to go ahead and flip this and into the light. So right there, there are my eggs. Now these are said to have hatched in five to seven days. He's been like this for a minute and I just been lazy and didn't do anything about it. And uh, you know, it was my goal to breed these. That's why I bought every single last one that the pet store had and it wasn't necessarily cheap for them. So, uh, you know, I fell in love with them. Dan Heitshu is another YouTuber who has 
this fish and I just like I've been drooling over that fish for a while when I saw him I bought all of them uh, but that is for clear reason these are very seasonal fish you can only get them you know September of August um, of every year they're a seasonally bred fish so uh, you know, if I can get them into the hobby, bred by a hobbyist, and teach other people how to breed them, I think that would be great. And that's what I'm going to try and do. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and move him and those eggs. Hopefully, I do not screw that up. Uh, I'm probably just going to bag that. Just put a bag on it with water and just transfer it like that. I think that should be fine. It shouldn't bother him. Um, the water that I have, my TDS is about 300. pH is about 7.8 to 8.2. So that's that's not too far off what they should have in nature. Uh, their temps range from like 75 to 78, you know, up maybe to 80, which is about where my tanks are at right now. So I think I'm good to go. Anyways, I'm gonna set you guys down and um, I'll see if I can't keep the camera rolling. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to move him and his eggs to that new tank and we're gonna cross our fingers and hope that I am successful in doing this. Alright, so I've got the tank ready. I am going to go ahead and attempt to do this and not farm these eggs or my fish. I literally thought I was going to be growing these fish out here just in this tank for a while, otherwise I, I wouldn't have done it like this. Uh, you know, Preferably I would just move everybody else out, but the way my tanks are kind of laid out right now, that's not really an option for me. So I've had that 10 gallon over there for long enough. It's about time it gets used for something. Alright. Now I just don't want the, the eggs being exposed to air, that's why I'm going with the bag like this. Alright. Steal your eggs in your house. I, I bet he. I bet this doesn't hurt anything too bad. Eggs are still intact. Simple enough. out and go ahead and set this down by the tank. Actually we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put that in the tank. I think I might have to take a little bit of water out because I'm just gonna dump that in there. water out. Still there. He's gonna place his little hut right there. Push this moss down. I mean, it should be a great place for babies to raise up. But ah, oh, let's go get let's go get dad and uh, get him situated. I put my net. There it is. 
Alright, so this is what I want to just easy and yeah, he's up up oh, now come on now. Just get in now. I want this to be oh lose him in, in the tank. It's okay. You're fine, hey. Got dad. You're uh, going right there. Enough. Be able to pour, just pour him in. There you go. You're right there. Your, your house is right there. Your eggs are right there. You're good. Don't be too mad. I'm sorry. <laughs> hope he's not uh, too upset after that and I really hope he decides to go fan those eggs uh, they wouldn't have survived in there um, I could have like I, I could have pulled everyone else out of that 40 breeder but uh, I just don't I could have made that 40 breeder work it's just not ideal to have a bunch of tiny fish in a really big tank you have to overfeed they'll get lost they can't find food it's just not ideal to do that so we're gonna go ahead and Get a lid on him. I'm not sure that these are actually jumpers for fish. Kind of think that they're not, but I've been um, keeping them covered because it's not easy to come by this fish. Um, I just have to wait basically an entire year until they were in season again. And I don't want to do that. Come on, bud. There you go. Your your nest is right there. Come on. I know you can find it. I believe in you. I believe in you. You can do it. You can you can go fan those eggs. Um, yeah, he's got to get situated, but and uh, you know he 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 doesn't need the females or anything else around. He would just chase them off. I think he knows he's in front of it. He's got to. I'll give him some some worms here in a second but I'm gonna let him settle in I'm gonna feed him some uh, some red worms here in just a little bit so he kind of forgives me and he's happy and he gets in a good mood again and then hopefully he figures out okay that's where I need to be I need to fan those eggs and just hang out um, so hold on one second and uh, we'll uh, tune back here we'll tune back in 10 15 20 minutes all right so got my uh, indoor red regular culture here because I've also got a very large one outside they obviously need to be fed and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and feed him one because I want his mood to be good also don't want him to eat anything mm, smaller It's about a good size right there. The beautiful thing about red wrigglers is uh, if you forget to feed them, they'll just eat their bedding. No big issue. There's a red wriggler egg. Um, so, I don't know where he is. I think he's hiding in the moss. Okay, so he finally found the worms. Very, very happy. And they're right in front of his house. So hopefully, he's like, oh, okay, this is where I should be hanging out then. And then he figures out that babies are inside the uh, coconut. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave him alone. I'm not sure. Hopefully those eggs will be fine for a little bit. But, uh, um, gosh, if this was just like, does this really need to be like the worst shot in the world? Okay, having a black floor helps. Huh, I'll remember that for future carpeting. 
one solid dark color. But, uh, anyways, there's your mail and all his glory. Um, we will tune back in either for another episode um, or the rest of this video, I'm not quite sure. And uh, I'll uh, let you guys know how the eggs turned out. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next video.